Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. So today we're doing Season 2, Episode 20 of Sarah Moon Crystal called Crystal Tokyo King and Dimion. So we're starting off with uh, this Tosuda Mask where King and Dimion is an actual projection and that he's actually unconscious in another room with the others. And we found out that Chibiusa is uh, Mamoru's and Usagi's kid. And basically there was an attack and that Chibiusa went to the past. And so that whole bombshell was hysterical because everyone went right in the face. And that was just funny to me. And then we cut to where Diana is Luna and an artist, artist, Artemis's kid. Which also was, again, hysterical. Um, then basically we found out that at 22, um, she stopped aging along with everyone on Earth, basically. So I guess that's maturity, I guess. <laughs> and basically there was like a huge era of peace until the Black Moon um, infiltrated the planet Nemesis. Apparently there was a um, sicko that what, did like a heinous crime that they banished to the planet Nemesis and then they never really checked on it again because they banished the person there. And the person was named Phantom. And then we cut to where, um, so basically, uh, like I said, Black Moon hijacked planet, planet Nemesis. And because they refused the legendary silver crystal and the aging and stuff, they preferred destruction and having a very, very quick life. I was like, oh, well, good. Stupid, but okay. And they want to rewrite the past, so that's why they're attacking the past. And so basically, um, then Usagi and Mamoru are starting to go invisible and it's creating a paradox. And so they have to go back super quick. And he tells Chibiusa to go back with them. And then uh, Pluto gives uh, Sailor Moon a key and um, King and Demian says to trust her. So they go back to the past with um, also King and Demian saying, please protect my child. And he said, I will. Just He said that to, to, to get a mess and he said, I will. Then we cut to where it's... <laughs> so um, they're back in the past and Isaki again gets super jealous of Chibisa and Mamoru because, you know, she is like, well, I'm like, She's my kid, too, so I want to help take care of her and stuff, but, you know, Tessie and Mess is just used to being, like, overprotective, I guess. And then, uh, so, she storms off, and then we have Chibisa's back at the gate again, and she feels guilty. And then we cut to where Esmeralda is after the rabbit, and so the rod won't work. So, when Sarah Moon pops back up in the future to help save Chibusa along with everybody else. And then we cut to where King and Demian helps Mamoru off Esmeralda. But Demand and the Wise Men show up and Sailor Moon got taken and that was the end of the episode. Um, I literally give this one, I'll give this one a solid A. Um, just the whole jealousy thing again. I'm just like, Okay, I need you. You got bye. I don't care about that. So I just found that very weird. But with the action scenes and you know, we get the more we get to see why to to be so starting to feel a little bit more guilty and why she's not telling people. So we're getting like an inkling, but you know, we'll see what happens. But anyway, um, I thought it was a really decent episode, and I th I still enjoyed it a lot. So yeah. <laughs> And the action scenes were pretty cool, and I really, really enjoyed it. So anyway, that's all I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell what you think of the episode. Do you agree, disagree? Just send me thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe, because I also have the channel a lot. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, everybody.